In this video, we're going to be talking about three settings that you need to have set up on your Slim Pen 2 if you are using your stylus as an artist. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. My name is Justice Frangipani. If you use a stylus with Windows 10 or 11, this is a great channel for you, so subscribe right now. All right, so we're going to go into the settings menu. We're going to click on surface. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the pen pressure sensitivity. Now for me, I'm using a surface laptop studio. If you're using a surface laptop studio, my number one recommendation for stylus is the slim pen too. If you're using a surface pro eight, same recommendation. If you're using something else, this is my recommendation. This is the R530 stylus. It has an eraser at the end and two buttons in the front. Very good line quality. You can find it on my website. So first thing we're going to do here for the Slim Pen 2 is we're going to adjust the pen pressure sensitivity. What this looks like, we're going to choose the pencil right here. And actually, we're going to put up the artist pad on the side so we can manage things a bit easier. We're going to hide the taskbar and we're going to clear this and we're going to do a very light to heavy line. And you can see that we've got really good right here. We have a really good ramp from light pressure to heavy pressure. This is very important inside of a lot of programs and it's, it starts here. This is where it starts. So if you have this set to the right, then every single line that you put on the screen is going to be full pressure and it's going to look wrong. And it's probably not what you're shooting for. So bring this from heavy, bring this over to light. I usually keep mine around a four. If I'm using the R530, this has a better pressure response by default. And the default setting for Windows 11 and 10 is seven. You can have this over closer to where it starts off by default and still get that really nice response. Let's look at the next setting that we need to adjust. We're going to go here into settings. We're going to click right here and we're going to write control panel. So we're going to open this up and do that. All right, there we go. Control panel, hardware and sound, pen and touch. This menu is hidden and kind of hard to find. Uh, so we have two options right here for pen buttons. We're actually not going to play with these. You can adjust those if you find need. Uh, we're going to change press and hold. What this does, if you're drawing a little tiny dot on the screen and you have this setting enabled, what's going to happen is it's going to try to right click. And so it creates a little bit of delay. So here, if I'm doing a little tiny dot, this is Rebel 5 Pro, which is my number one recommended drawing app. It is the only next gen drawing app available right now and it's phenomenal. I'll put a link to it in the description. Press and hold. So we can choose settings, enable or disable right here. If I hold right here, you can see it creates that circle and that's going to do right click for you. Now, the reason a lot of people wanna do right click is because the side button here does not always adjust the way that we want. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change this side button next. So inside of Bluetooth settings, we have pen and Windows ink. Now for me, I like tactile signals. I think they feel nice. They only work in a couple programs, but they're cool. So I keep that on. Um, display additional keys pressed when using my pen. This will, like over here inside of Rebel, if we press something like control, it will show the control key is being pressed. Same thing for Alt and same thing for Shift, which I don't think I have on the artist pad over here because, oh, I do. Okay, so there's Shift and you can see that Shift is being held down. So nice feature, that's a bonus. Okay, and then the last feature, what we need is here, we're gonna double click on the pen tool icon if you don't have this installed and you are an artist using Windows 11, you need to get this installed now. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the side button to something like the color picker invert on a stylus like the R530 is this front button. 
barrel is the second one on the Slim Pen 2. That is just a barrel button. And here we're going to change this to Alt. Now I have this set up uh, to Rebel. So if I double click on this, it's going to load the settings, including Alt right here. So we can do Alt plus additional one. So if we wanted to do Alt plus Control, we could do that. Uh, we could disable it completely and just do like a middle click. But we are going to keep that at Modifier and set it Tap to Unlock. So all the default settings here, uh, we're going to click OK. And so now over here, when I press the side button, I have this great alt function. If I pick a different color, I can very easily select. This is a really big deal for artists. So you're going to want to get this. Uh, over here also, uh, this is the Tablet Pro Artist Pad. If you don't have that, that's at tabletpro.com. That's how to set up your Slim Pen 2 as an artist. If you have questions, put it in the comment section and I will be happy to address those. Until next time, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video.